Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of our discussion today is external cephalic version, a very important topic while discussing the bridge presentation, oblique lie or transverse lie. What is external cephalic version? It is a maneuver in which the fetus is turned to cephalic presentation by manipulation through maternal abdominal wall. How much is the success rate of external cephalic version? It is 60% in multigravida and 40% in aliquarous women. What are the indications of external cephalic version? First of all, every patient with a breech presentation at 36 weeks in primary gravida and 37 weeks in multipara having no other contraindication to vaginal delivery or offer the external cephalic version. Also, the patient with transverse lie or oblique lie are also candidates of external cephalic version. What are the prerequisites of external cephalic version? First of all, maternal abdominal wall should be thin and relaxed. Bladder should be empty. Uterus should be relaxed. Breach shouldn't be engaged. Ultrasound should have been done. CTG should have been done. Anesthetists and pediatricians must be available. Cesarean delivery personnel must be available. What are the contraindications of external cephalic version? The absolute contraindications include when there is absolute contraindication to vaginal delivery like in cases of placenta previa. Secondly, when there is active bleeding or ruptured membrane, consent not given by the patient multiple gestation, antepartum hemorrhage in the last seven days, uterine anomalies, abnormal fetal heart rate pattern, placental abruption, onset of labor, and severe hemophilia B. What are the relative contraindications of external cephalic version? First of all, small for gestation age fetus with abnormal Doppler parameters. Secondly, proteinuria and preeclampsia. Thirdly, the oligohedramnios. Major fetal anomalies. Dead fetus or IUD, scarred uterus due to previous cesarean section or uterine surgery, or in cases of unstable lie, the ECV is contraindicated. Now we will talk about the procedure of external cephalic version. First of all, I will introduce myself to the patient and explain the whole procedure to the couple, along with its complication and success rate, and take an informed consent. After fulfilling all the prerequisites of the procedure, I will ask my patient to empty her bladder and rest on couch in Trentenberg dorsal position with a wedge under the right buttocks. I will try to do it in conjunction with the fetal movements. I will identify fetal back and will hold the breech in right hand and fetal head in the left hand and apply sustained pressure by both hands simultaneously in the direction which promotes flexion while keeping the head flexed. Pressure should be sustained for at least 2 to 5 minutes but not more than 10 minutes. After a successful version, the attitude of the fetal head should be maintained for few minutes. Check fetal heart rate every 2 minutes during this procedure. Now, which tocolytic is used for external cephalic version? First of all, salbutamol. 250 microgram of salbutamol in 25 ml of normal saline, that is 10 microgram per ml by slow IV injection is given or 250 microgram of terbutaline subcutaneously is given. How many attempts are allowed for external cephalic version? No more than 4 attempts within 10 minutes times are allowed. Now we will talk about the post-procedure management and care. First of all, fetal condition is assessed by CTG for 20 to 30 minutes after ECV. Secondly, patient should be washed for 20 to 30 minutes for uterine contractions. Give her sterile pad plus observe for vaginal bleeding or leaking. Give anti-D in the RHD negative mother. If everything goes satisfactorily, the patient can be discharged on the same day and call her after one week to re-evaluate and plan further. What are the risks of external cephalic version? First of all, the fetal distress. Transient bradycardia of 5% in less than 3 minutes. So in that case, we put the patient in left lateral, continuous CTG and if it is persistent for more than 6 minutes, then we go for category 1 cesarean sections. Mean in total, we can wait for 9 minutes. Before 9 minutes, the patient should, be, should have the cesarean section delivery. Second risk of ECV is that if the placental abruption, rupture of membranes, preterm labor, fetal trauma, cord accidents, placental uterine rupture. So thank you so much. That was all about external cephalic version. 
subscribe on Ops and Gaini. Allah Hafiz.